Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is The Kale Miller, and you are uh, with me uh, late night tonight. This is it's about 2.30 in the morning, you can't sleep, so I thought I'd talk about this. Uh, if you're not aware, I don't know why you wouldn't be, but Apple just released their new line of tablet, uh, quote-unquote tablet, uh, PC, or Mac, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not quite an iPhone, it's not quite a MacBook, it's an, uh, it's a, it's an iPad. It's an iPad. Woo! It's an iPad. Uh, first of all, I think, uh, terrible name. Bad name. Just asking to, make, asking to be made fun of, and it has been quite a bit. iPad. Um, now, when I first saw this thing, uh, as did a lot of people, they pretty quickly noticed that this thing is pretty much just a giant iPhone, uh, and it really is. Ta-da! Uh, I was pretty disappointed at, at first, I will say that, uh, watching the, the, uh, off their website, you know. I think, like a lot of people, people were expecting an OS ten esque operating system on this, this thing, and you didn't get that. You got a, basically an iPhone, a modified iPhone OS that looks exactly like it, uh, and, you know, you kind of just want to grab the microphone and ask, you know, hello, you know, Steve, you've already made one of these products, can you hear me, you know, and, uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, kind of unfortunate, I think, uh, its initial reaction, that's pretty much what it got. Another thing I'd like to talk about is, you normally, when you talk about Steve Jobs' keynotes, you think, awesome, electrifying, you know, he's, you know, say what you want about Apple, you hate it, you love it, you, you know, you don't like it at all, uh, he can pretty much stand and deliver some pretty awesome, uh, speech, he's a great public speaker, and he makes you excited for his product, and, you know, when he introduces things like the new iMac, the new MacBook Pros, you know, the iPods, the iPhones, the iPod Touches, you know, the whole crowd goes nuts, they go crazy because they know that this is a new revolutionary product, Apple's done it again, you know. Hooray! And you, you really didn't feel that at this, um, at this, at this event because, you know, once again, I think, you know, he sat down on his couch, he had his big iPad, terrible name, he had his big iPad and he was, you can surf the internet, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can organize your photos, you can look and pinch to view photos, you can flip through your photo, and you know, there wasn't a big reaction in the crowd because you can do that all on here. He's already announced it's basically the same keynote, you know, just for a bigger thing. <coughs> now, I'm not going to ramble on too much because we all know what the downsides of this thing are. There's not a real operating system necessarily. Uh, it's essentially a big iPhone. Uh, there's no camera um, for, for uh, chat. There's no. I don't think there's an iChat or anything like that built-in, which, no big deal, you can just get the apps um, for chat on off the App Store. But, yeah, so my first reaction, definitely a big disappointment. My energy enthusiasm was at, was at a low, it was on the left side of the spectrum, pretty low. So really, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Why have they made this? Why no OS X? Why just a big giant I iPhone? Where did my hat go? You know, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Um, here's the deal. Here's why I'm starting to reconsider. Uh, also, where did my glasses come from? Hmm, weird. Uh, here's why I'm starting to reconsider. The App Store. That's what's going to save this product. If, if it can be saved, the App Store is what's going to do it. Now, I don't necessarily expect something revolutionary, as Steve Jobs claims it has been. However, I do believe that there could be some potential for some pretty rocking apps. Uh, yeah, some pretty rocking apps. It's going to be revolutionary. Um... I personally can't wait uh, till the thing gets jailbroken either. I think you really, once the thing gets jailbroken, you really start to stretch the, the, the actual possibilities and limits of the iPad. I think you'll be uh, getting some pretty cool stuff going on there. So, 
I've been reconsidering. Am I going to buy it? Maybe not right away. I might wait a little bit and reflect a little bit on it more. Um, but I do have um, that black MacBook. If you guys follow my channel, I have a. Uh, I know I have a little quite a small group of followers, anyways, uh, that know about my black MacBook. I was thinking about maybe dumping that and buying an iPad when it came out, but we'll see what happens. And if I do buy the iPad, I will be sure to uh, unbox it for you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go because it's. 2.30 in the morning, and I need to try to get some sleep for school tomorrow. But, um, just weighing in, giving my opinion. Uh, feel free to argue amongst yourselves below, uh, if you would like why the iPad sucks, why it's awesome. Uh, I'm still kind of halfway in between right now. Uh, but we'll see. You know, I think some of the apps can be pretty cool. But anyways, guys, that's all I have time for. I'm gonna go to bed. Um... We don't sound Enjoy the rest of your night, the rest of your day, depending on when you're watching this. Alright guys, I'm out. Peace.